Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Christian Mechanic. I have, um, there's another tool. Uh, I didn't pick this up. This is something I had at work. I had done a video a while back with uh, the gear, or the uh, chain puller. An 80 chain puller for the large chain. Well, here's the uh, other ones that I was talking about, the uh, smaller chain pullers. And uh, this one, this company is not Dodge. This company is uh, Fenner Drives, and they're out of uh, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll talk about this one here first. This is the number 35, which is uh, stamped right here on the top right here. You can barely uh, you can barely see it. The other one doesn't really have any uh, markings on it, but this one does. Fender Drive and then uh, Mayhew, PA, Pennsylvania, made in the USA. So this one here, <clears throat> that's Fender Drive. That's where they're based out of anyway. So this here is the small one that I was talking about. And this one you can find anywhere from twenty some you know, twenty five dollars to thirty five dollars, uh, and this one will do thirty five chain all the way up to uh, sixty chain. It's got a plastic handle. It's all uh, st steel construction. There's no you know it's no cheap aluminums or, or carbon or, or you know, carbon steel or anything like that. It's all a solid steel construction. The jaw and everything, and uh, they are riveted together. And then. Uh, that's that one, and then you got here. This is the the number fifty. Now this one doesn't have any uh, markings on it like that one, but it does have the "Made in the USA" stamped on the arms. And this is also a Fender Drives one because this is uh, that's how they come. But same thing with this one. It's all steel construction. There's no like there's no carbon steel or no you know, aluminum or any other kind of uh, metals. This is all uh, nice heavy steel. Uh, construction you know same thing with your all threads and your uh, you know everything's just riveted together it's really nice this one here I've seen it from you know 80 to 90 dollars you've seen them on eBay and different places you can go to so you can get this one for around 80 90 bucks and this will do a 40 chain up to around an 80 chain so 40 to 80 chain and it also had on their, uh, their website that it does it talks about the jaws. It spreads open three and a half inches. Uh, the other one I didn't really, didn't really see. But that's you know that's as far as that one opens. That's probably that's probably about two inches or so. But and you got this one here. But anyway, and I got a bike sitting here. I'm not gonna take the uh, take the chain apart. I just want to show you how it goes on there. I, I I have seen some other really nice videos on uh. YouTube where they actually have it have a thing set up with chain and everything else but um, I don't have access to any of that stuff at at home and I can't be I don't want to get in trouble for taking I'm not allowed to take video inside of where I work so I'm not going to be making any uh, tutorial videos of the uh, some of the larger tools because I'm not allowed to have just not allowed to have it so anyway well here here's how you you do it let me just move it a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Let me get this out of the way. So you just want to take wherever your link is split apart at. You just want to put one end on the one of the inks, uh, links and one end on the other link. And you just screw this together. And it will pull it together enough to where you can uh, you can squeeze the master link. in that way you're not trying to hold the, trying to hold the chains together. And then you're trying to. Put the master link in too. It's easy to have. It's like, it's like having an extra set of hands. <laughs> if you want to be honest with it. Yeah, it's like having a... Uh, let me take this off real quick. Yeah, it's like having an extra set of uh, fingers helping you. But yeah, like I said, you just turn the knob, you squeeze it together, and then uh, you can uh, put your master link in with ease. <clears throat> like I said, on the uh, bike chains, it's not too bad. But once you start getting into the... Uh, larger chain drives and you might have a chain that's you know you know it's got it's got a long distance between one end to the other and you ain't got much adjustment <clears throat> you might have one uh one sprocket that can only move one way and then the back one is is free flowing so it's kind of hard when you're when you're trying to do it by hand you might be trying to squeeze here well this is this is moving a little bit and every time this moves, it's pulling the chain forward a little bit, and then the back one it just freely spins. So it could be it could cause you a hard, give you a hard time of trying to line things up. But yeah, it's all depends on like as I said, how you where you hook the chain up at, 
how you hook the chain up at, you know. But, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I do have, like I said, these are the uh, uh, Fender drives, but I think Craftsman might make one too. I may have a Craftsman one at work. If I do, I'll bring it. I'll bring it home. I can't remember. I think I do have a Craftsman one. I got a couple different ones of these, but these are. I was in my box the other day and I saw these sitting in the bottom of it. So as I figure, I just I'll bring them home and just uh, show everyone. Like I said, the uh, other sizes and there's a different. There's different brands too, but you can get get cheap. You can get cheap ones off eBay too. But I'm, like I said, they might not be made out of steel construction. They might be using other metals and materials that are uh, cheaper to construct, but they may not hold up as well. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you, and I just uh, thank everyone. I pray that everyone's having a blessed day. Uh, just leave a message or a comment in the bottom of it. Like I said, um, I try to respond to everyone that, that, that I see. So I thank everybody and have a good day. Thank you.